Hello, everybody, and welcome to Esoteric Atlanta. My name is Bryce, of course, and I have Stephanie on the same screen with me today. Hey. A little impromptu. It's a little tight back here, so we're trying to make it work. You will probably see this same setup with us tomorrow on the Dark Outpost because we are going to be coming on the Dark Outpost tomorrow, Tuesday, with David Zublick because we are going to be talking about some of our experiences at Barry College in Rome. I did some teasers on my Twitter, so if you aren't following me on Twitter, go ahead and follow me on Twitter and Stephanie on Twitter. Um, to see some updates of our investigations here. I am also trying to remember to put them on Instagram too, because I know not everybody has a Twitter, but I promise you, if you don't have a Twitter, Twitter is fun, isn't it? It's interesting. It's pretty fun. I'm, I'm a late bloomer with Twitter, but go. I was too. Just, just, just do it. Just join Twitter. I mean, when I was twatter. just twatter. <laughs> when, I was, twatter. when I was just doing yoga, teaching my sore programs, I didn't have a Twitter because Twitter isn't really big for the yoga world. It was just Instagram. But now that I'm doing YouTube, I am loving Twitter. It is really fun. So anyway, all right. I also want to remind you guys to tomorrow being Tuesday. Normally we have an inst our installation of the Magdalene manuscript that will, there will not be one tomorrow just because I haven't had a chance to record the video for this week because we've been sweating all over Georgia, basically Galibating and causing all sorts of trouble. No, not really, but. But hopefully that will be back next week. There will be a uh, Sophia Code on Wednesday, though. I did pre-record the Mother Mary section of the <laughs> Sophia Code. So that will be up as well. So this is just going to be a slight little update from Stephanie and me. We're going to are going to pull some cards. Thank you guys all for your questions. Because we have limited time today, we're just going to do a quick video today. And then we'll get to your questions that you asked on Twitter and on my community tab a little bit later on. But first, I want to ask Stephanie, you had a very unique experience driving into Atlanta. We were in separate cars. Um, she was behind me. And explain coming down 75 when you saw, when you turned the corner and you saw the city outline the moment and i apologize i sound like i have a sexy bedroom voice from a little bit of laryngitis kind of sort of um when i came into the city and i hit that city line i literally started to bawl my eyes out and i could not figure it out for the life of me like what is happening it's not like i was i hadn't seen you yet like and i'm not like yeah we just spent like Four days, yeah, about four yeah. days in a row. Yeah, my parents' house. And you were like 20 minutes ahead of me because I had to stop and get, I had to get my coffee, guys, because I need my coffee. And I bob and weave on the interstate, don't she I? She bobs and weaves. I'm a city driver. <laughs> I'm just in the left lane doing 80, okay? I bob and weave. I, I've never, I, I, the, the speed limit here is like awesome because I could actually like put the pedal to the metal kind of a thing. But um, yeah, you were bobbing, you are weaving, and I was just, straight going and and <laughs> my coffee and so I came up into the city and I just like was like losing it I'm like what is wrong with me and I had pulled cards on it it was definitely past life stuff coming through which is probably why I'm not feeling well since I arrived in Atlanta mm -hmm. because whatever past life stuff maybe karma I don't know is coming through me I don't know uh, uh, what's your overall feel of the city of Atlanta oh I love it and I'm not like I've been through I've been in Boston. I've been to New York City. I hadn't stayed there like long I'm more like day trip kind of a thing. And of course, like we have in Connecticut, Hartford, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> like not that Hartford's bad or anything. Like there's there's a really nasty side of Hartford, the north end of Hartford. Like my grandma couldn't go visit her her parents or anything in the cemetery because it's like a lot of drive-by pow pows. Oh, that's here too. Yeah. yeah. So like we, you got to be very careful where you drive in Harvard. I just probably with any city, but I mean, that's my home state and nothing really exciting in Hartford, maybe the couple museums or any, you know, that kind of stuff. But it's a very, very small city. I've gone through Worcester, Massachusetts, lots of Tartarian buildings there, but nothing like skyscrapers or anything like that. We don't have skyscrapers in um, Connecticut. And this this, this city has a really good vibe. Yeah, we're so happy here. We're hashtag the city too busy to hate. Now, with that being said, we know that Atlanta is definitely a controller, we'll say city. Uh, we've got Coca-Cola's yeah. headquarter. Coca-Cola is from Georgia, is from Atlanta. Its headquarter is here. There's a Delta's headquarter is here. I mean, Atlanta is about half the size of New York. <coughs> um, her son was really cute because he was excited about seeing skyscrapers. He likes it. He likes it here. I've been purposely taking routes 
yeah, around town so that he would be able to drive through the sky. I've been purposely detouring us so he can actually drive through and see the the tall buildings. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I live right in the middle of the city. So we're like in walking distance. Like, I think he was a little shocked about how much you walk in a city. Yeah, he was a little shocked about that. He needs to learn that. He needs to exercise regardless, (laughs) though. But he's a 15 year old. And yeah, I think that was well, I think he actually kind of like the first night we were here, we went to Peachtree Street, which is the main street here. Um, if you're familiar with Elton John, Elton John lives in Atlanta six months out of the year. And one of his latest albums, he actually titled Peachtree Street. It's a long street that goes like straight through the city. And I'm in the Midtown section and Midtown is where there's a lot of social stuff, um, a lot of restaurants. And so I can literally just walk up the block and there's just, you know, like, <laughs> a whole um, just offering of ton, to, so, totally a lot different. of stuff a lot of stuff and yeah. so I, I think it kind of thought it was kind of cool that we could just kind of like pop out and all yeah, of a sudden just go out the door and you're there either way you go you're, it's like there's something to do and there's a big park and people huge park. Park. yeah my friend the park which i'm not gorgeous i'm not doxing myself because there are like six million people in this city when i say i'm but Pe- peanut park is our central park and it's yeah. huge it's a huge park so you can I mean, Virginia Highlands is by Piedmont Park, too. It's not doxing myself to say that. But Bonnie came down. The pool was at capacity at the park, but we went to the fountain. That was fun. We were yeah. the crazy white ladies throwing tarot cards at the fountain. Yep. Um, I drove you, drove you by it, guys. We went to Oakland Cemetery today. We're going to put that footage up at that some point. That was probably one of my favorite highlights of this trip. Yeah, is that particular cemetery. Like, I'd go back there, and we are channeling on the board and the cards a little bit. That was interesting. Apparently we had uh, some tall man following us in that particular journey. Um, I think he was protecting us actually from another person. No, no, the the Alan guy, I got Alan on the board was protecting us from the tall guy. Yeah. And we'll do a whole, I've got a bunch of footage from that that I'm going to put together and we'll do a whole episode with the footage and just kind of talk through Oakland Cemetery. If you look on my playlist, I actually have already covered Oakland Cemetery. It was one of the first videos I did, but I didn't get into any of the scandalous stuff um, that we'll probably get into more um, in our perception now since two years have passed and more information is available to us um, and and we're a little bit more aware of maybe the truth. And um, so... Stephanie, do you believe, I don't know if we, have we pulled cards on this yet? Is Atlanta, Georgia, is it Atlantis? I think it's like a capital. Well, yeah, like the capital of it. Is that why they, because I've still told you guys many times, the original city was called Marthasville and they did, we should probably even look at it in a different video. I know Mark Atwood has spoken about this. There's all these big cities in the world that have had these mysterious fires. London had it. Chicago had it. Atlanta had it as well. And we're told that the, the, the fire um, was during the civil war that Sherman burned down the city. But now we got some information at, the, at Oakland cemetery that changes that. So I, maybe when we do our full Oakland cemetery, we could talk more about the Atlanta fire and why they actually burned the city down. Oh yeah. <sighs> yep. It is the capital. capital of Atlantis. Yeah. I've got the fool with the queen of wands and the sun card. So the sun card is that. Yes. Um, but also too, it was definitely a city of light. Like it was definitely a city for a good, um, and then um, they the changed it. Card, yeah, that that's a that's some sort of change. That's through witchcraft sort of journey, through magic. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of cabal symbolism. Um, I shouldn't say that. It's okay. My head is in the clouds right now. <laughs> oh, it had to surrender. The ten of swords. Yep. It had to surrender. So is this also? Was this also according to the old maps we have? Oh wow. Some- yeah, it's going to become more emotionally balanced. balanced. Um, new journey. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be healed over, I think. It's going gonna, it's gonna to heal. So was this also part of Egypt? Well, actually, I've been playing with my Jungian cards today. I haven't played with my Jungian cards All right. in a it's while. It's part of Egypt, the real Egypt. Oh, we got the high priestess, so we're kind of looking into something that is definitely underneath the veil of it all. Um, I'm gonna have to go with a yes on this. Yep, wheel of fortune. They, they swapped it all. We got the hermit card that was isolated, two of cups, 
Uh, some kind of deal was made. Oh, something came fast. Yeah, so, yeah I got an Ace of Pentacles. So yep, so yes. this was also Egypt. Yeah. Yep. What is that? The Seven of Cups right there you got? Yep, so a confusion. They seven. create a confusion around it. Seven of Cups. <laughs> so the Jungian cards, I put this on my Twitter. This is the first deck of tarot cards I have that I had for years. And apparently it's the most challenging of the tarot to read. Obviously, I like a challenge. So um, I haven't picked them up in a while. And I just started feeling like I needed to, to play with them today. Again, the Jungian cards. I like yeah. the Jungian cards. I mean, you got me a deck of them. I like them. I yeah. don't use them in my readings because I'm not. I'm still familiarizing myself with them. I will say this. They're my favorite cards to shuffle, though. They're, it's so easy to shuffle. Yeah. popped up again. Um, walking yes. away. Yeah. Okay, so confusion, walking away from the confusion. Um, kind of. It was a hard. It was a, it was a burden. There was a burden, but there was an offering made to that burden almost. Sun card. Three of Pentacles, Coven card, Ace of Pentacles, and collaboration, Empress, an offering, a collaboration, an offering. Or you were asking cool. if this is Egypt again? Yeah. Which card is this? It's Empress, but I already got an Ace and a Sun, so yeah, it absolutely was Egypt. Yeah. Yeah, so I think it's going to be a lot that's going to come back, and I think that's why. And we can talk about this more in our Oakland Cemetery uh, episode because we do touch on the Civil War a little bit in that in that those readings. I think this is why they burned down Atlanta. I think there was a lot that. Well, let's ask. Let's just go ahead and ask. Did they burn down the city of Atlanta to get rid of Tartaria evidence and um, Egyptian <laughs> evidence, evidence of a different history than what we've been taught? All right. Yep. Whoop. Tower yep. card. Holy shit. Ace. They did it in secret. Shit. They did it in secret. They did it in secret. And they fooled us Ace to of make Pentacles, us. Yes. And there was bad deals made. Yep. Yep. So there's a lot, but you can still see it, can't you? It's wild. Like you walked on, for example, Peach Street Street, and you see like skyscrapers and modern buildings, and all of a sudden there's like this old yeah. church that's obviously a Tartarian. Yeah. It's very obviously a Tartarian. It's very um, building. All the old Tartarian buildings are definitely interwoven with all of the modern day his uh, the modern day buildings. Um, it, it, like a lot of places I've gone to, you see a lot of these. Uh, I call them the Tartar buildings, Tartarian buildings, and it, it's like there's a cluster of them. Yeah, and then you have all these newer buildings. Actually, Hartford is a lot like that in a lot of ways. Now, with this city, they're, they're intermeshed within all the modern-day buildings. There's actually, like, so the one I was next to um, over, what's that one? It almost has a resemblance of um, kind of the uh, Twin Tower type of building. It, very narrow windows with, like, bars on them kind of oh there's that, lots of buildings that like looks very it was a skyscraper looking building but it is very old looking at the same time it had a very tartarian look to it i mean downtown so like in atlanta there's like a lot of touristy stuff downtown <coughs> we've got the world of coke museum downtown the cnn center is downtown the ferris wheel is downtown centennial olympic park is downtown there i took them to the waffle house that was interesting centennial olympic park and good food though good food and regardless. cheap Cheap, good food. Listen, Just, Waffle House is my favorite place to go on a date. Boy, does on a it real make cheap your date. stomach want to implode, though. I'm a five dollar date, basically. <laughs> yeah, I'm a I'm a cheap date too. I don't I don't care about going to fancy restaurants. I love the stuff. Waffle House. Waffle House is Waffle House. Great. Yeah, that was that was fun. That was that was a lot of fun. And and our our waiter was poor guy. First time he's dealing with me and. <laughs> a, a bunch of full of people it was, yeah a big table full of people and there was a big uh riot going on for oh, the uh, yeah for the whole uh removal of the baby from the mother's womb that's all i'll say which is stupid because i think in georgia that's still legal i don't think these people realize that nothing's really changed it's just the federal government's like you know what this is a state issue basically that's what happened everything woke 
Goes to shit. shit. Yeah. Um, let's ask, is there, so I was telling Stephanie, I brought, I drove you through little five points yesterday. Now, when I was a kid, little five points is where you went to, you know, get your stuff. And I, it was very bohemian. It, it still is pretty bohemian, uh, although it's gone woke. But I drove her through there yesterday just to kind of show her a little five points. And when I was a kid, as well as even up to this day, there was this rumor that under a particular business in little five points, I'm not going to say the name of the business on my YouTube channel because I don't want this business to be like swarmed by people. But there was always this rumor that there was a mysterious door that led you to an underground city underneath of uh, underneath Atlanta. And it's where a lot of old hippies went to die. It was basically like the rumor as a kid, because little five points was where all the hippies lived. Now we do have underground Atlanta. We do have a mall that's actually underground and I can take you guys by there at some point. It's literally like a couple miles down the street from me. Um, when I was a kid, underground Atlanta was a mall. Like there were shops in it, all that kind of stuff. And then it kind of like fell apart. And a couple of years ago, they, um, there were these business planners that wanted to put a bunch of strip clubs down there, which I actually think is a really good idea. Like keep them all in one area, it's underground, but then it never fell through. So there are a lot of uh, innuendos in the city to the fact that there is a city underneath Atlanta, Georgia. We have Pont City Market. I drove you by Pont City Market. That's yep. where the famous Fountain of Youth is supposedly located that Pont de Leon, Pont de Leon was looking at. Can we ask the card, Stephanie, is there in fact a functioning city underneath Atlanta. On a side note, sitting in the bathtub the other day, I had a vision there was a whole underground. I mean, we know things happen thing. underground. Yeah. But like, is this, were those rumors uh, that as a child, like growing up in the 90s, <coughs> you know, we didn't know anything about the controllers at that point. Down. Oops. There you go. Oh, there it is. You got it? Yeah. Well, they worked hard on it. As I pull the Ace of Cups. Go look at the Ace of Cups on this Youngian deck. That's the Ace of Cups. That's the happy ending right there. I think it was functional, but I don't think it is now. Hold on. Oops. Oh, son of a gun. Hold on. My toe is going to get it. See, I'm an acrobat. Oh, well, mm -hmm. no, nope, that's not the patent. Sorry. I thought it was a different card. Oh, that's my card. That's the uh, star card, the, the Aquarian card with the Ace of Cups. I think spirits having fun. Yep. I'm the star. I'm the Aquarius. That's the Aquarius card, guys. Yeah. So I actually think this was. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't think it was a good place to be. It probably will end up turning into something. Um, so I believe there were deals made. Something was waiting down there. I don't know Ew. what that means. Yeah, I feel like that's not human. Okay. Um, somebody powerful maybe resided down there. But here's where it gets interesting. I have the death card with the seven of swords. That could definitely be trafficking. Out, it's fine. Okay. It's where they take small people. Oh yeah. Well, things. so up in North Georgia, um, where I like to go hiking, it's beautiful up there, but apparently that's one of the, up in the Appalachian mountains up there, they hide little people away. There was a huge bus there a few years ago. I they remember gone. hearing about that yeah. actually. Well, Lana's very wealthy. Yeah. Atlanta is a very, very wealthy. I mean, I live in a very nice area of Atlanta and my place is tiny, but I'm paying for the location. Um, yep. You can tell, can't you, when you walk outside, like I'm basically paying to live yeah. in Midtown yeah. and, and be able to walk most places. Because you live in a very good section. I mean, yeah. you've driven me several places. It's a great section. You're, you have a park right over here. You have all these businesses and restaurants and everything over here. And it's a very clean area. And plus... The outside looks adorable. It's very French. It's all, I mean, I know the minute I leave here, they're probably going to want to tear this place down, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm not moving until I know. I, I want to move. I want to go somewhere, but I, you know, I'm not going to move anywhere until I know where I'm actually moving. So, um, all right. What else should we ask about the city? 
is there a reason why I had to be in Atlanta? Because, well, guys, like I, after I was telling Stephanie, I was talking about college and I was telling her I went to school and in college in England. Like I like left, I left America. I was you like, went from <laughs> sweating like balls, Georgia to, to rain. rainy, cold England. I just want to get the fuck out of town. Like I just want to. And then after that, after college, I went to LA and lived in LA for a really long time and worked in LA. And my, my plan when I moved out of LA, my plan was to stop off in Atlanta where my family is and then move to New York city. But something always happened that kept me in, back in Atlanta. And I get frustrated because, you know, I, I'm a traveler. I've just been to Africa twice, India countless times. I've lived all over Europe, I've gone everywhere, Australia. I'm just always on the move and to be kind of stuck here for a while. It's been very frustrating, but it feels very purposeful. Yeah. Can we so ask why? Ask. All right. Well, my family's not, I mean, my family's not from my grandmother. My dad's mother's from South Georgia, but my mom's family is from the coast of South Carolina. My dad's family, dad, my dad's dad's family is from Tennessee, Knoxville, where that ISIS temple is. Oh. I think it had to do with your vibrational frequency. Yeah, I I think Well, number one, you're very passionate about this place. Um <clears throat> I feel like I have a love hate relationship with Atlanta. I know. But I feel like also too, it does for the most part, it does bring you happiness. I feel like maybe with the changes that are going to occur, <clears throat> you're going to be, I don't know. I don't see, you, I, I honestly don't intuitively see you here too, too long. Um, but it's like this page of cups is like a love offering. So it's like, um, I'm, I'm is just, a love offering going to take me out of the city? I don't know. These are the days of our lives. <laughs> well, you've made changes to this place. Okay. She's made changes to this place. See, Bryce's more powerful than she gives herself credit for. Just a girl. Sweating I'm her ass just off. just a girl. In Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> Y'all, and it's Atlanta, okay? That's one thing. When you're a local, the last T, so Atlanta is spelled A-T-L-A-N-T-A, -A -A, last T is silent if you're a local. Atlanta. Atlanta. I always say it that way. However, if you are from Berlin, Connecticut, do not say Berlin. Berlin. <laughs> you go, Berlin. This is Berlin. Atlanta. Yeah, we always know people are not from here. You ain't from around here if you say Atlanta. 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 It's Atlanta. Atlanta. Y'all, it's Atlanta. Georgia, Atlanta. One syllable. Atlanta. Three. It's just one syllable. Locals say Atlanta. So I guess I'm a local. <laughs> Atlanta. I'm, I'm a local by by affiliation, association. From past, and, life. past lives. Well, okay, here's a question. Now, let me ask this first, because then we're going to get into one flames quickly before your next reading. Was the Olympics, I don't believe at this point that when they draw the names for the Olympics, or they, I think they already know where they're going to go mm -hmm. for a specific reason. So in 1996, <coughs> the Olympics was here in Atlanta, Georgia. I went to many of the events, and I took you guys to Centennial Olympic Park. It was right by the Waffle House where that <coughs> happened. <coughs> Bless you. Bless you. So the, the, you know, the thing happened in 1996, but um, why was the Olympics here in Atlanta in 19? Were they trying to harness some type of energy to bring? Cause we know then like what happened five years later, their plans started to roll out. So was there some type of like magical energy here that the bad guys were trying to use? utilized by the energy of having the games here because hmm. if you watch the opening ceremonies it's creepy as hell like what is that <laughs> although there are cloggers in the opening ceremony yeah they were harnessing something yeah. and i don't think it was humans harnessing anything yeah so there was definitely rituals happening i get the ace of wands um <clears throat> So I get this card often the nine of pentacles comes to me as like something that is very earth. 
So I'm, I'm thinking underground with that. Along with this moon card, it was in it was um, right next to it. And so I'm getting that they had people or a person isolated, trapped, um, <clears throat> lots of quick movement, which I'm not sure where the quick move movement is coming from. So I can actually ask, can we clarify the eight of wands? Yeah, they had somebody trapped, nine of swords. Um, they're doing bad black bad juju yeah because i pulled i pulled out the chariots the magician the harnessing tower light and the Harness. ace of swords yeah they were harnessing yeah. light yeah this was definitely energetic they were harnessing energy it was probably from atlantis oh they, likely yeah and egypt so now let's ask about twin let's move into twin flames <coughs> okay stephanie yeah when atlantis fell yeah were we living here in this area of Atlanta, Georgia, that we know is like now, with our twin flames? Is this where we lost contact when the... I think that's why I got emotional. I think that's why I have a love-hate relationship with this place. Didn't you say you got emotional coming into this? I did. That was weird. So I had told them we were leaving. I knew I was going to be ahead of them because I've often weave. I knew that. And, and that's not... I mean, I'm just... I'm a city driver. I'm used to driving. I knew I was probably going to get separated from seven. And so I was explaining to her son... Um, you know, there's a certain turn you make on the freeway when you're coming down 75, where all of a sudden you see the uh, skyline. It's not thundering. Yeah, it's it's raining outside. Why is it thundering now, though? It's been raining for a while. I don't know. Because we're, we're, we're talking about TFs. We're talking about TFs. Twin flames. Yeah, and I got raw sweat. It was sweaty today at the cemetery. I still got it's a little sweat sweaty. on me. Yeah. Very sweaty. I need about 10 showers a day, guys. That's why I baby out of Georgia. That's why I shower all the time i was like i gotta take a I bath shower all the time anyways and connect see connecticut is just as humid and hot too in the summertime it wasn't like that though growing up in the 90s it got worse and worse and worse which i think is manipulated if y'all hear snoring it's my dog he's on the bed snoring right now um so yeah i got emotional so i was a friend of stephanie and i told her where you know the turn that you'll so tyler could be aware because he'd, he'd never been to a city before so he could see the skyline before coming into the city and as I turned the corner myself, I actually got hit with emotion, which is weird because I see the skyline literally every day. I mean, it's on my banner of my channel. So why was I all of a sudden emotional? Weird. Maybe By the way, I like your banner. I don't think I've ever told you that. I oh, like your banner. I'm actually, okay, let me know, guys. I'm considering getting t-shirts for the channel, and I'm actually considering ordering a bunch of them with the banner that says Esoteric Atlanta and cutting them because you guys always talk about how I cut my t-shirts. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, so before we get to the cards, if you guys think that's a good idea that you want me to get Esoteric Atlanta t-shirts and I can cut them for you, let me know. Let me know. All right, let's talk about this. Yes, I think that's it. We certainly were. So we were living here in this vicinity mm -hmm. when Atlantis fell mm -hmm. and the Twin Flames at that time were separated. Mm -hmm. This is... This is... This is... <coughs> Son of a bitch. Someone doesn't want me to talk to. I'm good. Just process it. Bob? You um, suck. Yeah. Bob's gone. Yeah. Bob's gone. Bye bye. The minute the twin flames are in union <coughs> and that solar flash happens, that Ace of Cups moment. Yep. And also, too, I know I'm sick because my twin flame is angry as fuck right now. About he doesn't. He, I don't even think he's aware of that who I am or whatnot. I'm just putting it out there. I don't. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that. I just felt the need to say that. But he's angry as fuck about something. Somebody betrayed him. Anyways, lots of betrayal going on right oh, now. Oh yeah. Okay, so we held up the vibration of twins. Held up the vibrational frequency of Atlantis. Um. There was lots of, um, I don't know how I'm looking at these pages right here, but I'm definitely getting dissatisfaction, upset, being disappointed, lover's card. Let me pull a couple other cards. Sucks, but I had to. Did I have to be the one to anchor in Atlanta then? Apparently so, and I had to be stuck up in Babylon. 
Oh, I technically have the short end of the stick. Plus, I'm shorter. <laughs> well, I mean, my mom's family is, I, I actually, my real home, I feel like my real home is Charleston, South Carolina. That's like my real home. That's where my roots are. For my mom's family, the dominant roots. And that's where we spent a lot of our time when we weren't here. I was there. And I, that's like how I feel home is. But then I just kind of got stuck here. What is up with all these pages? <laughs> I feel like it's that the cabal's energy is younger than our energy. It's yeah. so weird you just said that because that's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. Like younger energy coming through, like separating. And there's a lot of movement. Lot oh, that could have been separation travel. Being pulled apart. Queen of Swords. Maybe we were really bitchy towards them. Towards our twins? Yeah. No, I don't think I will. Well, my higher, y'all, listen. My higher self is very sassy, okay? My higher self is not fun. My lower self is way more fun than my higher my, self. My higher self said the I'm other day. Fun. So what do you think? I'm stupid. I'm like, I didn't think, I didn't say you were stupid. If you're stupid, I'm stupid. Oh yeah, we were separated. Oh yeah, that that's a separation, my friends. Here in, in this area. Yeah. Yep. That's why I got emotional. So let's do uh, this because I know you have a reading in 10 minutes. But look first, is my lower self fun? Am I fun? Your lower self is fun. Your higher self is very serious. My higher self's got a stick of her ass. Kind of, sort of. She's yeah. very elegant, but she, this girl needs to like relax. A my bit. higher self, well, both of my higher self and my lower self are sassy, but the higher self is a little more sassier and a little more stern. Like, get with the program. <laughs> I, I, I'm like, but I don't know what to do. Either. We don't know what to do. We're just winging it. We're just kind of like, listen, I went and got some Florida water from a friend who has that stuff. That's all I'll say. Got some other oils from a friend who has that stuff. That's all I'll say for our other mission that we have to do this week, which we're not going to talk about until after the fact. Um, but okay. So let's do what, cause I know you have a reading soon, Stephanie. So let's do one final reading because we're seeing the number 11, 11, 11, 11, 11 everywhere. I mean, I pointed it to you as we pulled into Oakland Center yeah, and I smacked you and said, look at my mileage. Freaking on the mileage. My like, car tells me that? how many miles until I'm at empty. How many miles was I until empty when I pulled into Oakland Cemetery? 11. 111. Yeah. 111. And I don't even, I mean, I just glanced at it, you know? And so anyway, what's the outcome for the twin flame union in this life? This life that mirrors the fall of Atlantis. I wonder if I, was, I, wonder if I got bra sweat when I lived in Atlantis the first time. <laughs> like a tune out. Only you would think of a question but, like okay. that. I wonder if she also wore granny panties <laughs> in that lifetime too, guys. She'd go to Dollar General getting a granny panties. <laughs> like... I haven't gone to that extreme yet, but I got so many bras. She's inspirational. What can I say? Listen, you got to do what you got to do. It is what it is. It's the hot deep south. It's muggy down here. What did my friend say? Say it's grimy down here. It's, it is grimy. It's grimy down here. Oh, we're coming back together. We're coming Ooh, he's got a nice ass. ass. He does have a nice ass. Oh, look at this. Show everybody. Look at that ass. He's got a nice ass. I'm not really a, an ass person. I'm not an ass person either, but it got nice. <laughs> Actually, I could really care about physical features. I just want an, someone with a big heart. Yeah. I'm attracted to energy mostly, but I do have a type. Balance, baby. Balance. I sang for a second there. And I have my sexy better voice. <laughs> What is um, my, what is the Aquarian card keep popping up? Am I? Cause you're the Aquarian. I know I'm the Aquarian, but it literally keeps popping out. It also means something's going to come to fruition. Something's going to happen. Can we just ask just when quickly, you wish upon a star, when you wish upon a star, can you um, just quickly ask why is, is there Absolutely. something that spirit wants everyone to know why the Aquarian, I will say though, my stomach's way flatter than her stomach. Is my stomach flatter than her stomach? Yeah. Are my legs skinnier? I'm pretty skinny though. You're. You're healthy looking. You're you're skinny, but you're skinny in a healthy way. I wasn't in December. No, you were too skinny in December. I wasn't like on death store. Now stuff. me, if we were in starvation mode, I'd be the last survivor. Cause let let me tell you, <laughs> I got some roller polioli going on over here. Okay, everybody see my arms. Stephanie has a I'm, cute figure. I'm she's harder. Fun. She's, she's harder on herself, y'all. She's cute. 
Now, a tiny little thing. Now, if we can get the body fat to just metamorphose itself into hair, now we're talking. Now we're talking. She's got a cute little figure, guys. She's so hard on herself. She's tiny. <laughs> and you're not? <laughs> oh, I was with my am, mom. I, am I the first person you can see over their head? Well, when I was with my mom, um, and we were at mom, we were at the house, and she needed to get something. I was the one that had to go get it because I was Tyler. Tyler actually, I, I I I'm actually taller than I thought I was. What five four? Oh, it came out again. I got the dang card. Hello. Holy Hello. shit. Oh my god! I just. Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. activate. <laughs> Holy <laughs> activate. If this is correct, I'm about to have a lot of fun. Shakalaka. All right, I don't know what this is all. Well, I knew I I know what it means. I'm just not saying it on camera because. She said I probably need to go shopping. She needs, she needs to go get better bras and panties. She starts when she laughs too. That's great because I do as well. Oh man, <laughs> this is great. Sorry, mom. It's good. Yeah, I'm pushing forty. It's fine. It is what it is. I'm pushing forty. I'm, I'm not not young anymore. So no more Dollar General for you. I think you need to start hitting up us and <laughs> where the trans uh, models go. <laughs> Listen, they got a secret, guys. They got a secret. Victoria's got her secret. Victoria's got her secret. Oh, I got some pretty panties. I showed you some of my lacy panties. I've seen it all, guys. I've seen it all. I don't ever wear them, though. They're just sitting, they just sit in my drawer. I was like, I like, kind of pulled them. I was like, oh, these. Yeah, these. All right. Any I'm going to still pull on this. Oh, oh boom. fuck. Boom. <laughs> Oh, like a, an ad for Match.com. Oh, oh, that a little love offering. Woo! I mean, a little, a little front hugging. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> <Go ahead. Yes>. yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stop too much fun over here. God help us all. God. This is the future of the new world, everyone. <laughs> Why did you I'm I'm sweating my testicles. I, mean, <laughs> I got boob sweat. I mean, I'm quite sweaty. I got boob sweat too. <laughs> and my face is glistening with glitter. I mean, what? <laughs> glistening. Yes. Yes. Second girls, we don't sweat. We glisten. Um, it could be very interesting. I mean, I guess the heat makes it hotter. I, I don't know. Just well, he <laughs> does make things hot. If that, if that, if that, oh, that is obvious. <laughs> <laughs> if these cards are indicating this is happening here, best be glad this is air conditioning in this city. Let me tell you, the thermostat is this. This is the thermostat. The heat's about to get turned on, y'all. Bye-bye, Dracos. These twinsies got to get together. It's going to be a little, little solar Sweet flash. Family. I'm trying to sing with my, 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 my voice that's no longer there. Fuck. I give up. Anyway, join us tomorrow on Dark Outpost where you can chat with both of us live. We are actually on a more serious note. So tomorrow we are going to be talking about Barry College. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy that. I don't think we meant to be that goofy, but it just happens whenever we talk about sex. So we're like 14 year old, 14 year olds. We're worse than 14 year olds. I think Tyler would handle it better. <laughs> Than we do actually <laughs> what did I say at my mom's house <coughs> what so Tyler was Stephanie and her Stephanie was saying one guest bedroom and her son was staying in another guest bedroom and I was staying in my stepdad's office where there's like a day bed and the bed that, that Tyler was sleeping on is a very old empty <laughs> bed and he, my mom my mom was sitting in the office like chit-chatting with Stephanie and me and Tyler walks in he goes um I think I'm too fat for the bed <laughs> not fat at all like whatsoever. my mom walks in she was like no, the, it's an old bed. The board in that bed is a little bit hot. I could not stop laughing. <laughs> I literally, like, they walked out. My mom was trying, like, she was laughing, but she was trying not to laugh. Bless his heart. Like, bless his heart. Like, he, bless his heart. Yeah, I literally thought heart. he broke the bed. I was like, no, no, it's it's that. It just, 
I was like, I've been trying to get Bill, my stepdad, Bill, Bill, to replace that bed. We have beds in storage. We just need to replace it. And, she went, and I was like, they walked out. I was like crying, laughing. Just the way he said, I'm going to think I'm too fat for that bed. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, just a glimpse into our little lives. Um, <laughs> oh, he's, he's, a, he's he, comical. He's comical. He's comical. He's co- what did he say when, I, when he first got here? He was like, I really like the Southern hospitality. People are nice down here. I don't like the Northern hospitality. They just grunt at you. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's a fifteen-year-old stand-up comedian. He really he likes is. the South, doesn't he? He likes the South. He likes the city too. He thinks people are nice down here. Yeah, he does. People are nice yeah. down here. We're, we're known for that. Yeah. Um. Everybody's a bunch of Karens up my way. <laughs> yep. Well, like y'all come back now. Make um, yourself y'all gonna a home. Come back now. Obviously, obviously, somebody is going to be making their self at home with me real fast. <laughs> real fast um anyway so fyi i put this up on twitter and my instagram um if you are in all seriousness if you are have been trying to text me apparently my phone is still a little bit still casted so if i have not gotten back to you now again it does take me a while to get back to some text messages because if i'm filming or researching or working i'm not going to be able to respond however um if it's been a while and you text me and i haven't responded just try texting me again or maybe again sending a carrier pigeon because apparently there's still some hoo boo that's or Morse code or Morse code that, you know, um, just, you just <laughs> yell, <laughs> don't know, like send a flying paper airplane with a message. I don't know. Or if you've been trying to get in touch with me and you can't get in touch with me because my phone number is not working, you can contact any one of my friends and they can give you my address and you could write me a letter. We're talking about specific people. <laughs> just because we're going to get a bunch of subscribers going, I've been what? trying to email you. <laughs> Uh, no, I, these are people I know. Like, I actually know that I think my... There's actually a few people I think that might have tried to text me and I haven't received it yet, so... And I think my email is... My email's been, like, so wonky. I, I get, I'll get, like, messages, like, 10 days after the fact and I'm like, holy shit, like, what the hell's happening? So... I don't just know. Just be patient, gonna, guys. Yeah. We just don't know. Be what's patient. Going on. Just don't assume, assuming you make an ass out of you and me, don't assume you're being ignored or ghosted or anything like that. Just yeah. understand that there's. And I've been on the road, so I haven't been looking at my email like I normally do. Yeah. Just don't assume that any, anybody's being ignored. <coughs> Please don't. I don't want anybody to feel like you're being. I know as human beings, we tend to like assume that, but I, I really I want you guys to understand that there's something going on with my communication devices and. So just understand, I'm not ignoring you. I promise you, I'm not that that bitchy of a person. So um, she's kidding. <laughs> my, not my higher self. She's got to fucking stick up her ass. I'm maybe, joking. She's maybe. actually comical. She's very comical. She's I'm actually sure. you're actually better in person than you are on screen. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you're fun. I don't just say that either. I am fun. She is Listen, fun. though, my parents were partiers. I don't think I could. I think my parents can still out party me. Well, for I sure. mean, your mom was like shoving the wine in my oh, face. Oh, my mom will steal your wine. She'll steal it. I mean, literally, like you'll be have you'll have a glass of wine and you'll put your wine down and you'll go to the bathroom and she'll literally take it and dump it in her glass. It's so funny. She's known for that. Like that, that's and it's not like I mean, they can afford their wine. It's not like I just don't, I don't know. I don't why she does it. Because she likes her wine. She likes her wine. I mean, my parents can they have a full bar in their house. Yep. A lot of southerners do though. So, um, I come from a, a family of partiers. They, they, we know how to, we know how to handle our alcohol down here in the South, but, um, ooh, but, um, ooh, a star again. Are you serious? <laughs> the Ace of Wands. Look at that. Somebody's, somebody's having somebody's fun with their, their uh, Kundalini awakening. Somebody's having fun with their obelisk right now. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Well, Ace of Cups moment with the, with the obelisk, the personal obelisk. Anyway, what, why is it pointy though? That's gotta hurt. No, if something, something came with me looking like that, I would. It's more of dome. It's It's a a dome. It's the thunder dome. We all know. Y'all know. It's a thunder dome. You got a reading, don't you? What time is it? 402. Oh shit, I do. All right, okay. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow on the Dark Outpost. Uh, You can follow David Zublick on Twitter if you want to watch it live. If you're not a part of the Dark Outpost TV, where we're going to be talking about. Very college. All right. Bye, Bye. guys.